Hi guys, hi, my name is Maria and today we'll discuss new trading situations. I will give you some trading ideas about your Japanese yen, your Great Britain Bound. Also, we'll take Brent, Nasdaq, S&P 500 and we'll take Netflix. I hope you will like what I'm talking about because uh, this is something that I use for myself and this is something that I share with you because I know that technical situation that I go through, it works and it works really good. In my idea and my target is to make this analytical research to give you levels, to give you prices that will work. Your deal, your target is to react on these levels, is to be ready to act. So if I do miss some questions about instruments, if I miss some uh, well, uh, some trading moments, it means that there is nothing happening. For example, for my trading club, for my trading club pro, I do give research on, uh, well, for a week. And during the week, I can skip some instruments. Why? Because, well, here is the possibility that price will go to this target, but not this week. I go through this instrument, I'm waiting for it, but I don't uh, react on it, okay? So today we'll go through some in instruments that I think will be really good and will work really soon. Uh, we'll start with the Netflix and uh, here I think that uh, price under 470, 470 may go down to 448, 414 and even 360. Uh, this is not a forecast. This is not something that I give you like an advice to sell. No, this is something that I'm aware of and this is something I'm waiting for. If they go down, if they um, break these levels, they will go that far, like 400, uh, 450 and so on. Uh, technically, technically, price has been really high right now. And if they go to 3,000, uh, 360, 360, this will be technically a really good uh, level of support where we have to buy, like urgently to buy. If they give it to us, this will be super good. That I'm not sure. Uh, I can tell you that I fixed my long positions right now uh, for Netflix and I'm waiting for a market reaction. If they give us a rebound and they go up above 500, maybe I will keep uh, opening long positions. But for now, if they break 470, I'm more sure that they will go down, okay? And I hope this will help you to react with your trades as well. Uh, so now we go to now we go to euro. No, we go to Brent. <laughs> yeah, we go to Brent. And um, for Brent oil, my idea is that price under 39.40, 39.60 will go to 36.40 area. So under 39.40, you sell the target 36.40. What is stop? What is a stop idea? What is like um, uh, something that may uh, stop your short positions and this tendency line. The tendency line that begins um, in the in, in September, this one, and if they break it, if the price stays above 40 price, $40, so they will go to 42.60. Be ready to act uh, with this 40 level. For Euro, Euro Japanese Yen and Euro uh, Great Britain Pound. So for Euro Great Britain Pound, my idea is that uh, they may go like that. Look here, this is a monthly chart. And uh, here's an upgoing tendency, uh, upgoing tendency above 0.9530, they will go to 1.11. This is not a forecast. This is not something that you have to act right now. This is really high and this is monthly chart, monthly. So if they break this level 0.95, they will go that far. Just remember it, okay? When it happens, well, in a year or I don't know, maybe in two years, I will come back to this video and I will tell you, do you remember that? So I told you, I told you that this technique will work. They can go that far even uh, in well, January, this January, they may do it. So you got to be ready with the technical point of view that it may happen. On weekly chart, price is touching level of resistance. It was in 2016, it was in 2017, it was in 2019, 2020, and it's here right now. If they break this area, they go up to 0.9530. Just remember it, 0.9530, okay? 
Uh, so on one hour chart, um, on one hour chart, you gotta follow this area, 0.92. They may test it um, in day or two days, they will test it. And from here, if they give you a rebound, you gotta buy. You gotta buy and go further to 0.93, 0.94 and so on. So if they give us a sell signal, so they will give it on daily chart, okay, in like two, three days. But now there is no sell signal. You got to be ready that for now it may go further. Why? Because the whole tendency for years is going up. Now here is a good level of resistance, but they are not giving us a reaction. If they give a reaction and they show us a candlestick signal, uh, that's what I go through daily. When I see the close uh, price of daily chart, I go and I check if there is some change, if there is some uh, sell by signal on daily chart. And for now, there is no sell signal. That is why I'm telling you that they still can test 0.92. And from here, they will go up. So now we go to your Japanese yen. And my idea is that they're testing a really good tendency and really good resistance, but there is still no good sell signal. I'm in short positions, but I'm ready to close it with a little profit because I did sell it from like 196.30 from there. Now, not too much, I know, but... I am ready that they will go down and uh, I will close my short positions if they uh, break 196 and uh, 97 area. Well, maybe, maybe uh, in the beginning of Monday, uh, if I see that they go up, I will just close it my little profit <laughs> and forget about it uh, for like a day. But if they give me a sell signal on daily chart on Monday or Tuesday, uh, either they test uh, 127 area and from there they give a sell signal. I will enter sell signal again. I will sell again. But you got to remember that above 127 area, above that, they will go to 130 area. Well, now you know it. And also, also what I wanted to give you, uh, it's about the S&P 500, yeah. We got to discuss S&P 500 situation and uh, Nasdaq. Well, about the Nasdaq, if they break, if they break uh, 10,930 area, they will go down to 10,240 area. Just be ready for that, okay? And this is something that may happen really soon. And there is no good buy signal if... If something happens and they break these 10, uh, the 200 moving average on one hour chart, if they break 200 moving average exponential one on one hour chart, after that we buy and go further. For S and P 500, the situation the same, but I have less target for short positions. Uh, under look here, under 3,300, you're okay to sell with the target 3,250. And if they break 200 moving average on one hour chart, after that we'll buy. I'm not sure of the target yet, actually, but because because I'm not waiting for uh, long positions yet. Seriously, I do wait. That I do expect that they will give us a correction. I'm not sure how far, but there is nothing that gives me an opportunity to buy right now, okay? That is why I'm really shy with the discuss discussion uh, long positions. Uh, so now you know what's up, now you know what I'm waiting for, and now you know what may happen to six instruments. By the way, there are more in Trading Club and Trading Club Pro. You know that I have Trading Club, who gets twice a week a uh, video with the research for stock, for currencies, for indexes, uh, for metals. And there, for $5 a month, you will find right now video about um, different instruments like Apple, Tesla, and the brand WTI Gas. By the way, we got some really good trades with Gas. And there are more trading ideas for Gas. Uh, for Trading Club Pro, there are more ideas daily. And uh, this is something that I give you daily, but I'm not trying to give you like spam. I'm being really shy with the sending you messages uh, for tra Trading Club Pro. And it's like something that I do think you should pay attention to during the day. Well, um, you are really welcome to thumbs up, to push this thumbs up and uh, to join my Trading Club, Trading Club Pro. And of course, stay with my Telegram channel. And also here on YouTube, if you think that there is something that I can add to you, uh, I will do it. I would like to uh, ask you to forgive me that I'm not making a lot of videos about education because market is not really kind right now. And uh, yes, it is. Uh, well, it's not hard, but it's not easy to trade right now. And you got to be ready to act fast. 
and to close your positions and to um, well, like follow the situation because the stock market is giving you the correction, uh, currencies uh, are staying in a range. Well, uh, it's something that uh, really takes time and I don't have that much time to write a lot of videos. Now, uh, maybe when market becomes uh, a little bit uh, you know, more kind to me and uh, more easy to me, I will share more ideas. <laughs> and yes, uh, you are welcome to join my trading club where I do have some uh, educational videos that will help you to understand what's going on with the market. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your likes, thumbs up. And of course, I wish you a profitable week. See you later. Bye-bye.